We're here at ITU Telecom World 2016 on day three in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio this morning by John Galvin, who is General Manager and Vice President for Government and Education for the Intel Corporation. John, thanks so much for being with us in the studio today. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, the Broadband Commission, of which you're a commissioner, have just released the new Broadband Commission report. What are your main conclusions on what works to stimulate ICT adoption? Yeah, working on the report really with some other government entities, some civil entities, and really some other public um, and private entities gave us the opportunity to really look at countries who have been focused on ICT and deployments for some time. The, the first two conclusions really are somewhat obvious, right? The first is accessibility. Um, is the infrastructure there for people to connect? But what we decided to focus on was really the demand generation elements of it, which is around just people realizing what it can be used for. Uh, is it affordable to them? What, what is going to prompt them to actually go use it today? Um, by focusing on actual case studies, it's less about us spec speculating on what that might be, but really looking at countries who have very successfully deployed it um, and other countries who may not have uh, deployed it as successfully as they would like or are still in the midst of doing deployments. So for us, we think it's a great opportunity to bring real life case studies to other countries so that they too can now deploy programs like these and get the next billion people online. And how is Intel working towards creating a demand in broadband? Yeah, well, the demand really starts with what, what am I going to use it for? So that means that we have to go local. We have to be able to work with local partners, understand what those usage models are. Um, is there a health use case? Is there an education use case, which is something that we have focused on for the past four to five years? Uh, but it's also around employment, access to information, and even entertainment. Uh, but it really means that we have to be able to work with governments on programs to be able to educate people on what's available to them uh, and how it's going to essentially change their lives. Now, talking about collaboration, how, how important is a collaborative approach uh, in driving industry growth? Oh, it, it's, it's critical that we collaborate. Um, all internet access really requires a local approach and that means that we have to be able to engage with those local partners. We need to be able to deploy solutions that are going to work for people in those rural areas. Um, in many cases it really requires that we're going to work on programs targeting girls and women who we know uh, really lack access at just a global level. Um, and so there's a number of initiatives that we drive at a global level, but it, it really all starts with us partnering locally and understanding what we need to be able to deploy in that country. Now, I wanted to ask you, in terms of accelerating the digital economy, what's the most important factor, do you think? Yeah, you know, I, I, I wish there was a silver bullet there, that there was only one thing that we could do. Um, but, but overall, it's continued to invest in the infrastructure, make sure that people can get the connectivity. Um, it's about education, making sure that they're aware that it's available to them and what it's actually going to take to actually use it. We have to make it affordable. Um, and so that still is looking at NSF, NSO, seeing if we can get creative. Um, and then let, let's give people real reasons to go out there and use the internet, which means that we want to be able to solve problems that they have in their lives today. Finally, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2016. I wanted to ask you, what's the value of attending events such as this? Well, I mean, the real value of this event is that I, I can meet with all of the key players that I need to meet with. Um, I can hear from new players that we haven't engaged with, some of the problems that they're having. But this is a real opportunity just for us to be able to come together as partners, share with each other what we're doing, um, and create new opportunities for us to work together in the future. John Galvin, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.